Hey everybody, how's it going? Hey, I waited till uh, I wanted to wait till Larry got back and um, and make this video. I just want to say that I absolutely had uh, one of the best fishing trips I've ever had. Uh, Larry's family couldn't have been any nicer. They were absolutely treated me uh, just treated me like like one of the family. It was kind of Look at my tooth. I still haven't got it fixed. But anyway, when I first got there, it was kind of funny because um, Larry introduced me to his daughter, Lindsay. And I was sitting at the dining room table, and I said, Lindsay, I said, I got to ask you. I said, what do you think about a guy driving 790 miles um, to fish with somebody that he never met? And she says, you want my honest opinion? And I said, yeah, sure. And she told me, she says, well, she says, she says, mom and I have been on dad all, ever since he mentioned this. So you sure this guy's all right and he's not going to come out here and, and put you at the bottom of the lake and rob you and all this and that? And I started laughing because I said, you know what, Lindsay, I said, it's the same thing my son said. <laughs> so I think that broke the ice and we were, um, uh, we were off and running then, and that broke the ice, and she said, you're kidding me. I said, no. Nah. I said, my son was the same way. He said, Dad, he said, well, what if that guy's got shackles and handcuffs, and, and he ties you up and puts a brick around you and drops you, and, and it, it was just so funny. But, uh, no, nah, we, we absolutely, uh, we all hit it off, and, um, and I really enjoyed them being there Friday night, Saturday, and then they left Sunday afternoon. And when they left, uh, uh, they said, well, I hope you guys are here when we come back. And I said, well, one of us will be. <laughs> so, <laughs> my tooth, that, that's embarrassing. I got an appointment to try to get it fixed. I don't know what, I guess they're going to have to put a, I don't know if I'm going to have to have an implant or what I'm going to have to have. But uh, anyway, uh, th that was funny. I, I, I laughed pretty hard over that. But Larry and I had a great time. We shared a lot of stories. Uh, not so much about Jacksonville. We talked a little bit about you ladies. Uh, right, Larry? Just a little. But we talked about uh, some of you. and. uh and different things about Jacks and and basically we actually we never we never spent the whole week talking about Jacks uh, we talked about you know my Navy days and my work days and what I did for a living and uh, and fishing we just actually never had any problems talking at all it was like I knew the guy uh, it was like I knew him all my life and basically you know it's like we told uh, I told his family, I said, you know, I, I said, I've been talking to Larry. I said, we tried to figure it out. I, I think 10 years. Uh, I think we go back 10 years. And uh, I said it was it was just something. I, I met the guy, and I, I enjoyed talking to him. And I said, last year he invited me out. And I said, circumstances at that time, I just couldn't make it. And when he offered it again this year, I just absolutely jumped all over it. And uh, I'll do it again if he offers me again, Larry. So anyway, uh, yeah, we had a great time. And we, a uh, little bit different fishing than I'm used to. And I told him about it. I said, you know, I'm used to getting up 6 in the morning and going out and fishing until noon, coming in, uh, having a light lunch, maybe taking a nap, going back out at 3, 4 o'clock, or 4, 5, something like that, and fish till. 7, 7, 30, 8 o'clock, come in, eat dinner, uh, play cards, go to bed, and get up and do it again. Uh, this is entirely different fishing because there's so many fish up there. It, it, it's unbelievable. Uh, there would be no problem whatsoever going out in one day and catching four or 500 fish, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating one bit. Uh, they're just, because it being a private lake, there's, there's the key right there. It's a private lake. And only the people that have the cabins there, employees of uh, Larry's company, or the company Larry works for, 
are the only people that are allowed there, and they're the only people that are allowed to have boats. So you cut down on a lot of fishing uh, pressure when you only have people that live there uh, able to fish. Of course, now they're allowed to they're they're allowed to bring friends like Larry did with me, but you know I'm not going to go up there and, and haul off four or five hundred fish. I don't need four or five hundred fish. I I asked him. Uh, I said, let me take a couple dozen of them home, and, and I'm a happy camper, and that's what I did. I brought uh, 12, uh, we filleted 12 crappie, which is 24 fillets. That's fine for me. I mean, I'm not going to eat fish 24-7. I have one, uh, maybe two big fish fries out of it, and I'm done. But uh, to go up there and just slay the fish and, and load up a cooler and bring back here and distribute it to all my friends, just doesn't make a lick of sense to me, and I, I, that's not the way I fish, and that's not the way Larry fishes. So we had a great time. We'd go out, uh, we'd get up in the morning, and and uh, I made my coffee, and Larry drank his soft drinks. He doesn't drink coffee, and we'd sit around and talk for a while, and uh, <coughs> and then uh, either I fixed breakfast or Larry fixed breakfast, and uh, we'd have breakfast, and then. And we'd sit around some more and drink some more coffee and drink no soft drink. And then Larry said, let's go get some. So, I mean, we're in a boat and we're gone for an hour and a half, two hours. And, um, <laughs> I mean, it's just, in one, one video, uh, I, I don't know if I posted it yet, but I threw, I threw the line out five times and caught five fish. <coughs> So when you can do that, uh, that's that's doing some serious fishing. I mean, when you can sit there and fish for an hour and catch basically seven, eight, nine out of ten casts, you're going to catch seven, eight, nine fish. What do you need with all those fish? So I mean, if you went out there and fished for five hours, well, you'd weigh the boat down. You'd have to come in and uh, empty the boat and go back out and uh, and do it again and. It's just a, it's just a different kind of fishing than I'm used to. Uh, even bass fishing, when I go down in Kentucky, I bass fish. I, I spend out all day, but then there's a big difference. I don't catch fish every cast. I'm trolling up and down the banks, and I'm throwing a line. I'm reeling it in. I'm throwing. I'm reeling it in. I'm throwing. I'm reeling it. I might, th I might cast fifty casts, and then bam, I get a hit. Up there. Even bass fishing, I threw the line in once, reeled in, twice, boom, there come a bass out burning the rock. And not small mass bass either. I mean, they were, they were nice size. You saw pictures of them. But anyway, I wanted to make this video. I wanted to wait till Larry got back. And I want to publicly thank him for inviting me and, and, uh, and to tell his family that I absolutely had a great time. And I really appreciate the hospitality. Hospital, hospitality, how do you say that? Hospital. They were so hospitable. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm telling you, certain words you say when you got when you're missing a doggone tooth. It feels like they're talking like this. But anyway, I'm gonna get the sucker fixed. I'm feeling much better. My uh, antibody kicked in. Holy crap, man! I'll tell you what. Not only did I bring back some crappie from um, Nebraska, I brought back one hell of a cold. And I haven't been that sick in a long time. And the um, doctor was worried I had pneumonia. But um, walking pneumonia, so I could have. Anyway, just wanted to make this video and, and publicly thank Larry for inviting me out. And uh, buddy, anytime you want to go fishing and you need somebody to, you know, help you, bring them in, uh, give me a call. I'm ready. Talk to everybody later.